Hi Cancer, welcome to this reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs, though you might find it resonates more if Cancer is your Moon or Rising Sign. Oh my goodness, the lovers starting strong. Wow. Okay, we have Gemini energy here, the lovers. Okay, <laughs> I'm noticing in this depiction they are, they're incredibly close. Um, physically their bodies are close, they're naked, which kind of makes it even more of an intimate thing that they're that close, but they are even though they're holding on to each other, they're facing away from one another. So for many of you, this could be a situation that there's a separation or um, you haven't spoken in some time, or you might feel and sense a lot intuitively, but you've not had it confirmed. You might feel like your person's interested, but they're not showing you that they are and vice versa, that sort of thing. Um, but I think this is a message from your person that yes, if you're feeling like, you know, you're, you're close with one another, you are. Um, if you're feeling that they're interested even though they're not showing it you're correct the lovers can also talk about having to make a big decision so you could be at the point in your connection now where you or your person perhaps both of you are feeling like if this is going to move forward a big decision has to be made and that can be subjective it could be the big decision is i've got to reach out to you or i've got to open up or i've got to apologize or i've got to explain what happened with such and such or it could be you know i've got to leave somebody else or i've got to move country things that seem like objectively like they would be quite a big deal okay we have the six of wands Um, and the Page of Swords. Do you know, I'm getting an interesting message. I do feel your person is aware of you. They are keeping an eye on you. But what's coming through and is slightly more curious here is that your person hopes that you are keeping an eye on them and there is something they've been doing and they're feeling pretty good about it, quite successful, and they hope that you see. They hope that you've noticed. They hope you're watching them. And I don't think it's an egotistical thing. I think it's... Um, they want you to to be impressed i mean i guess that's coming from the ego but not like in a really you know low vibrational sense i think they want you to be impressed i think they want you to see that they have um grown in some way developed in some way i said the page of swords didn't i that's the knight of swords okay we have the ten of swords in the reverse yes so i think for some of you your person's message is there's a big um for them it feels like a big deal that they've got to say something to you um and it could be a double whammy. Maybe it's a big thing because they don't normally talk about their feelings. Maybe um, also because how things ended with you was not on a great note and you haven't spoken to each other since with the Ten of Swords reversed. So they might wonder, are you still carrying this feeling of betrayal or pain with you? Do you still think of them negatively when you think about how things ended? Um, because I think it's still on their mind for sure. They might also wonder, um, do you want to hear from them? Are you cross with them? I'm noticing this guy's got this sword up in front of his face and he doesn't look the most approachable um, necessarily. Okay. There's a feeling as well that um, you both want to talk to each other. So your person could be saying, I have a feeling that you would like to talk to me as well, as much as I would like to talk to you. Um, and to start off with the lovers, they're mirroring one another here. There is a feeling that, that the message from your person is, I know, <laughs> I might be, my brain might be making me doubt, you know, my ego might be saying to me, oh, maybe you don't want to hear from me, but deep down I know that we both want to talk to each other, that we both want to move this forward. So at least that's what your person's deep down believing. Now we have the, the devil reversed. Capricorn energy here might be relevant to some of you, but how interesting, the devil, the, the devils, we have the lovers and the devil two sides really of the same coin different sides of, of a situation here um one on top of the other so your person is saying okay first off this is one intense connection to have the lovers and the devil and it's all encompassing and they're saying when it's good between us it's like i'm on some kind of plane that i've never reached before you know it's uh, when it's good it's great but there are certain things within this connection that oh my god when they when it goes wrong this connection really takes me down with it. I really feel everything strongly that happens here, you know, the highs and the lows. The devil is reversed, so I feel like they're saying perhaps they feel that both of you have come out of these old patterns of behaviour, or they assume um, if you were to come together, if you haven't spoken for some, you know, some time, that you're kind of beyond whatever was going on in the past. But there is a fear of, I don't want things to be um, as intense in this difficult way as they have been and I feel it's something both of you have experienced at times that um 
yeah when something goes wrong here it, it completely consumes you and affects maybe every area of your life and um, it might feel like when it goes wrong it goes really wrong um and they're saying they don't want that anymore also right now they're very much in the light side of this connection versus the shadow so feeling positive feeling optimistic trying to overcome any low vibrational thoughts as well beliefs um if your person in the past had what they might consider and what you might consider to be low vibrational um behaviors i feel they want you to know they've they've done some inner reflection and they've you know sort of ascended now um okay let's keep going so messages please for my viewer from this person the empress you know, again, interesting. Although, of course, they think the world of you. So I could say, yes, they feel that you are their empress. I also feel this is them in some way. There's something they've done. And they want you to notice and to be impressed and to be proud of them and to be like, wow, you are definitely my match. You are my equal. Because I feel they've always put you on this pedestal. You know, you're the empress. We haven't even got an emperor at this point. So you're above them in some way or another. But they've been working on something that they now feel has, has made them level with you. And again, it's not in this low vibrational sense of, oh, well, now you're not better than me. You know, we're the same. It's like, maybe i wasn't doing so well before maybe i wasn't taking my life seriously enough but now i am now i'm doing really well um, and i really hope that you are spying on me i hope you're watching me as, as much as i'm watching you so that you know so that you um can see the progress i've been making we've got taurus we've got libra here okay oh my goodness now we have the emperor but the emperor is reversed Aries. Okay, let's come back to this. The Emperor with the Knight of Swords. And then we have the High Priestess, Pisces Energy. Well, the first thing to say is your person's message is, I don't like this silence between us. And if there isn't silence, but you're not talking about what's important to both of you here, um, they don't like that either. They really don't like that. But I do feel for many of you, there was something difficult that happened or a difficult conversation and it, that's it. Nothing has been said since and they, this is really, really bothering them. They don't like it. And I think they're wondering, how do you feel, you know, in this silence? What are you thinking? Um, they look at you as being kind of wise, like you have a good sense of them. You kind of know what they're thinking and feeling at any given point, um, which in the past maybe has been a bit... Um, intimidating or made them feel i'm hearing see-through um <laughs> made them feel exposed perhaps that's a better word um but the interesting thing is this is someone who is growing gaining in confidence not just in the 3d material world but in terms of trusting in this connection because there's a strong message today of them saying but i'm the same i'm getting to be the same way here i know you can tap into me but i'm getting confident that i can do the same with you and that's convincing me that even though we're not face to face we feel the same i think you want to talk to me just as much as i want to talk to you so let's see what is going on let's go to another deck what's going on with this emperor and who is this emperor because i kind of feel like both of you are this empress in your person's mind oh maybe that's it maybe your person's message is one of us is going to have to stand up as this masculine energy, masculine energy being the energy within all of us that, that gets us to take action, to be proactive, um, also very concerned with sort of the 3D as well. One of us is going to have to step out of this divine feminine, empress, high priestess energy and actually, actually action the fact, you know, take action on, on wanting to talk to each other um, with this knight of swords. One of us is going to have to reach out first. The Six of Wands with her hands on her hips as well. It could be a little bit of stubbornness. Okay, I kind of actually, you know, now that message has come through, I want to clarify a bit more of all of this, in fact. So let's go to the Lovers and the Devil. The Magician reversed. Um, more Gemini. Wow, strong Gemini energy. Mercury, communication. We're seeing a desire for communication here that your person believes is mutual. The, the magician reversed okay the magician holds a lot of power and if the card is reversed someone could be misusing that power manipulating the other person with that power they could be showing up in an inauthentic way but the thing is when we have the energy of the magician behind us however we're showing up 
that gains traction, that gains momentum. So if your person feels that in some ways both of you were wearing masks, whether it was through fear, self-protection, um, maybe projecting onto each other, maybe it was just very practical because of the circumstances that you're in, it's almost like that wasn't the best way to start because the way we were showing up and the way the foundation was set, that gained me momentum, that gained traction, and it didn't really evolve in the healthiest way. Um, Okay, so there's something here, some acknowledgement that there could have been more truth and honesty between you in whichever way, whether it's both of you or one of you. Um, yeah, because, you know, oh my goodness, we've got the lovers, the magician, the devil. That's lots and lots of power within this connection. So it's it's kind of even more crucial to channel that energy, that momentum in a positive direction that serves you both because otherwise it could just drag you right down. So yeah, that goes back to that message of them saying when it's good, it's fantastic, better than anything I've experienced. But when it's bad, because of how involved I am, invested, how much potential there is here between us, it's really bad and it really affects me and I don't like that. And I'm sure, you know, if you feel the same, you don't like it either. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Six of Wands and the Empress. Ten of Cups reversed. For some of you, yes, there's a third party on your person's side and they could have children with this person even and they're saying, um, I'm here because of the visuals, I'm here because of how it looks, um, I'm, I'm not really happy though, Ten of Cups reversed. That's not the strongest message coming through though, you know, even if that is a part of your situation. I think there's a, a stronger message here with this, let's see. King of Wands reversed. This is such an interesting reading today. Okay, there's another message coming through that this is someone who desires you strongly in a very physical, um, sexual sense. They're incredibly attracted to you. And I think you've seen this in the past. In fact, I feel this person saying from this position, and maybe if they've had some space and distance, so they've calmed down, you know, <laughs> from this position, I can look back and I can logically say I clearly overstepped. Um, potentially again because of the positions you're in, if there are third parties, maybe they just came in guns blazing, you know, this is, you know, this is how I feel, or trying to make something happen and going from zero to a hundred and you were like, excuse me, who are you? You know, that sort of thing. Um, and the thing is you're coming up as the empress. So it's almost like they feel that in the past they didn't, they weren't respectful with you or of you. Um, the king of wands in reverse is fiery, passionate, but very focused on self. I want this, so I'm going to go for it. And you, you don't really approach an empress or an emperor with that kind of energy. You have to have a bit more tact. You have to have a bit more um, respect. The empress or the emperor, they're not there to be conquered, you know? Um, and they're, they're much wiser than that. So you may even have looked at them. See how this lion is almost side-eyeing us. You may have, have, have sort of looked at them in this way or given them this impression that that's how you were looking at them. You know, if it was on via messaging or something and, um, and, and sort of thought they were being a, a bit foolish or maybe upon reflection, that's how they feel they came across. Um, and there's a worry, a concern, I hope you don't think I was that way with you just because I wanted something physical, because I felt that there was the potential for happiness as well. Whew, okay. So the Knight of Swords with the Emperor. This is the interesting message. Yes, one of you will need to take action here. And I think right now your person saying, I'm good either way, whether it's you, whether it's me. Okay, the Knight of Swords and the Emperor, please. And as I'm saying this, I'm getting messages. So, um, yeah, there you go. Okay, wow, look. King of Swords reversed. We've got the Knight of Wands reversed. The Tower reversed and the Moon. Scorpio and Pisces here. So there's a strong desire. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands um, follows the feeling of excitement, joy, and just goes for it. But that's reversed. So your person saying, what would make me happy is just, just to do it. Just to say hello. Just to reach out. Um, but the thing I am scared of is some kind of tower resulting from this. Now, it's basically the unknown. I feel this tower is their ego saying, what if they don't reply? What if they reply and tell you to get lost? What if they reply and they're cold? Or um, tell you that they've moved on and they're very happy? Or something like that, you know, the ego, the fears, the moon here. Um, 
is what's holding your person back from sending this message and that might be something you've heard over and over and over and you might be like i just i don't want to hear that at this point but i do think it's true um if they were afraid before they still you know seem to still be afraid now um so if you do want to reach out to them and you know you haven't been reaching out and being continually ignored so you feel okay about reaching out i would say perhaps go for it because um yeah they, let's have a bit more of a look at this tower i do think they're worried that they might get a response from you that devastates them or just a lack of response which would also be crushing yeah two of cups reversed oh it's almost like if they didn't care about you so much they would have just done it because who cares what you say or if you ignore them you know but they do <laughs> the reality is they do really care and if you aren't interested i mean there's two of cups they're gonna feel like they're just there by themselves and and they've blown it um queen of wands reverse so we've got the king and the queen of wands we've got the empress and the emperor they feel like you are their literal other half and look at this you know if one of these people were to walk away the other would just be standing there by themselves quite lonely you know so they they really don't want to find out that their gut feeling is wrong and that you actually aren't interested or you haven't been watching them you're you're not waiting for them or you're not holding space for them what was this ten of swords please I also feel if there was something difficult that happened, which I do think there was, um, in the meantime, this person has become wiser. They might be seeing it from a higher perspective. If you said something to them, they've been thinking about it and they might understand it differently now. Okay. Oh, wow. The High Priestess again. So for some of you, there's been absolutely nothing since this event took place. The Nine of Swords reverse, Seven of Coins. So your person has spent quite a bit of time worrying being anxious but it's almost like they're coming out of this energy now um and this deep knowing this excuse me gut feeling they have that you are open to them to this connection to hearing from them is getting stronger and stronger and stronger and i feel their ego this fear is getting smaller and smaller and quieter and quieter um okay so let's get into some message cards here and see so what else please messages from this person to my viewer space i need more time to think why let's see damage we are both hurting from this so for some of you there's still healing going on i don't think that's true for many of you actually i think there's been a lot of healing already but for some of you yes your person might be saying this high priestess double high priestess energy is that um there was something very painful and i'm still healing and i feel like maybe you are as well Hope I haven't given up on us yet. Reminiscing, I miss our inside jokes or I miss talking to you. I miss just reaching out to you or you reaching out to me. I miss seeing your name pop up on my phone. I miss um, spending time with you, communicating with you. We have conversation. I want to call you and hear your voice. Or, you know, I'm perfectly okay if you want to um, reach out to me unfinished business we still have things to resolve and discuss runner i don't want to run anymore some of you that could have been what this damage is about or even what's created the space and then mistakes i wish i could right my wrongs yeah and that's coming out in line with this high priestess ten of swords i feel um they do have a different perspective now on how they behaved in the past especially you know that king of wands reversed energy it's like i want what i want i want it now and i'm not really too interested in what works for you um, and i think they feel really embarrassed and uncomfortable when they remember that okay and i think also the fact that they've been working on something within themselves and they feel like they're a bit of an empress now as well it's almost like well if someone came towards me now behaving how i did to you in the past i would not give them the time of day i can't believe i approached you in that way that's really embarrassing you know they, it's like they didn't get it before but they do now okay messages please from my viewer oh look i'm not the same person that you remember exactly i have uh moved forward i am the empress or the emperor i am not this king of wands reversed 
I'm trying to do the honourable thing. Um, and, you know, often this comes out when there's a third party. Um, and I did get a vague third party message here. So for some of you, they're struggling, yes, to maybe um, separate from a partner or maybe there are children involved, something like that. But really, again, strongly, the strongest message I'm getting today, even if there is a third party, is I'm trying to do the honourable thing with you because, you know, we've got this empress underneath here. You know, I'm trying to show up now in a way that's actually appropriate. I just want you to be happy. OK, so that's a really nice confirmation that there is this sort of deep... Um, respect and genuine love here it's like i just want you to be happy and in the past that i don't think that came across at all i think it seemed like they wanted themselves to be happy and maybe maybe they did i can still feel you yes in line with the double high priestess this person's gaining confidence that they can pick up on you just as much as you're picking up on them um okay i'm sorry i couldn't follow through with my promises so in the past this could be someone who let you down a lot a lot of signs are pointing to you lately and that's on top of unfinished business so it can be it can be spirit is saying to them you look you still need to resolve this or move this forward it could be them thinking about you a lot that it's not finished so they're drawing in these signs to confirm their thoughts it could be both i will come back for you yeah but in the meantime i want you to be happy and we have, if I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. And that is on top of mistakes. Wow. So they regret for sure some choices, some decisions they made that they took in terms of moving towards you or um, choices they made that pulled them away from you. So some regret here, definitely growing in wisdom. Um, their perspective on your connection has evolved. I think it's taken on, um, their understanding has ta taken on um, more meaning. Well, not They understand the connection has more meaning than maybe they understood in the past. Maybe they thought this was just a bit of fun, like other connections or something like that. Um, okay. I've come to realize that I am not more awakened than you. Wow. Let me. <laughs> Why did I read it like that? Let me try again. <clears throat> I've come to realize that I am not more awakened than you. You are awake too. Okay. I mean, yeah, they do feel that both of you are awakened to this connection and you're both feeling each other. Um, I have a hard time focusing on you when I'm trying to build an empire. Hmm. Okay. So yes, they have been building for sure. And that may have created some um, space, some distance. You might not have heard from them as much as you used to. And actually in a way that's kind of reassuring. It's not that they've lost interest. They're just really trying to make something of themselves. Um, telling you that I need you will be the hardest thing I'll ever have to do. I feel like that almost rhymes maybe it does um yeah okay so for some of them the simple fact that they've got to open up and express their feelings is a difficult thing and that's on top of that knight of swords under there i realized that you did not make me feel bad about myself i did that yes and i also think the opinion they had of you which was very high versus the kind of lowish opinion they had of themselves made them feel bad about themselves but it's not like you were doing anything deliberately and i think what they did initially was try to almost change your behavior to get you to act the same way they were with that reverse king of wands you know do it my way my way's best it makes me comfortable but you didn't and that could have created that ten of swords situation that ending and what they've done since is actually go through a period of evolution within themselves because they felt it was, you know, it was worth it. You inspired them. If, again, they felt less for you, they'd be like, you know what, whatever. I'm glad you're gone. You're a headache. Um, I'm just going to carry on as I have been. Okay. You are not the only one that's scared. The connection scares me too. Okay. Okay. 
Um, it's sometimes hard to keep the faith when you are taking so long to commit. This card comes out a surprising amount as a message to you from your person, which always makes me a bit baffled because when I hear from so many of you, it's that this person's not committing to you. And we even have that runner card of them saying, I don't want to run anymore. So, I mean, if this resonates that you're not wanting to commit, great, take that message. But I do wonder if it's flipped for many of you. I can see myself settling down with you, but not right now. I wonder then with these two side by side, if there has been a bit of confusion about what commitment would look like for each of you. So you've both been ready, perhaps even at different times to commit, but commitment is one thing to you, one thing to them. Or maybe they've been looking at you, maybe you're kind of like an adventurous spirit and they're thinking you don't, maybe they've made assumptions, you know, you don't seem like you're ready to commit. And if they just spoke to you, they would understand differently or, you know, maybe, maybe yeah, maybe they just made some assumptions. I don't know. And thinking like you're not in a place to settle down when you are. Um, are you kidding me? This is exactly it. I am embarrassed over how desperate I became and what I did. Do you still respect me? Oh! <gasps> King of Wands reversed. You were an empress and they were like, didn't even notice. They just wanted to sort of dominate and conquer you and overpower you. So that's one way in which I think they're sort of embarrassed and feel that maybe they became a bit desperate. Um, another way is that possibly they were desperate for validation. And if you weren't giving it to them in the way they wanted in this kind of low vibrational way, maybe they went off to someone else who did give it to them and now they're kind of feeling foolish and they're saying do you do you still respect me even though i kind of made that silly decision you know i would have made different choices if i knew then what i know now um do you still respect me do you well yeah do you <laughs> or not gosh okay so a big concern with what you think of them and i think that's as well why they really are keen for you to know what they've been up to what they've been doing so you can be impressed with them and think okay you're not some silly foolish person you know just running to this person and that person you're actually doing something by yourself for yourself okay final deck then let's have a look and see what do they want to draw your attention to maybe um in their 3d environment something about them any confirmations or messages from spirit let's see what's coming through here okay For some of you, you know, I can see myself settling down with you, but not right now. If there is that sort of third party situation in the way, whether it's uh, partner, children, work, religion, culture, distance, whatever it is, um, that could be one of the reasons they're holding back on speaking their truth because I feel, and I'm seeing this a lot actually, in personal readings and um, in the collective readings as well right now, that it's like you know the person on your mind or whoever's reaching out to me on their mind they want to have this conversation but not just for the sake of having a conversation it's very practical it's like well if i'm telling you all of this it's because i'm hoping that we can move this forward or that we can action it or do something about it i don't just want to have a conversation just to talk about my feelings you know that's kind of the the attitude i'm getting from the, the person i'm tapping into so i wonder if it's like a collective energy right now um but i think it's causing delays so even though you could have conversations right now maybe it's not a time to take big steps in terms of action but it, it's like this person's not even thinking in that way it's it's like well i'll just hold off until we can move this forward in a big way we have scorpio so that could be a confirmation um for some of you but scorpio linked to pluto linked to death rebirth transformation there's a huge amount of transformation that's gone on here um within this person's life i think internally and externally look at this reach out oh it's like um it's very um forceful in a way you know i wonder if they've been trying to manifest you reaching out um reach out talk to me just reach out just say something and then we have active so yeah i feel like they want you to be active to reach out to them and if you're like i have you know i've reached out five times and they keep ignoring me then i would say let that go ignore that because even if you have and they want you to reach out another time well why should you but that you know that's just my feeling um 
But yes, this is someone who has experienced change. They feel like now is a good time to reconnect, to reach out. I wonder if they want you to initiate this big conversation as well. And then they're saying, okay, then if you let me know you're ready to act and make a change on your side, so am I. Look at this. If you reach out, I'll respond. Oh my goodness. This is someone who is desperate to hear from you. I feel like this is someone who, if let's say you're in a relationship. If you reach out to them, first of all, they'll be like, yeah, you don't hate me. Second of all, if you initiate this conversation of, I want to be with you, then I feel this is someone who's actually ready at this point to make a big change in their life in order to free themselves up to move forward with you. Um, but, you know, you've got to apply that to your situation and see if that fits and if it's appropriate and all of that. Yeah, shy, okay, so they're claiming that I need you to reach out because I'm too shy, I'm too scared. I do think they genuinely are a bit fearful here of what reaction they're going to get. I just saw the card or a card that says respectful, so I think it's weighing on them that they weren't respectful in the past and that you might think they're gonna be that same way with you again. Running out of time, okay. So that, yeah, they do feel this time pressure. We have smart, so maybe they're saying that they think you're smart, they're smart. Together you'd make clever, smart choices. We have competitive. So they could want to compete for you. They might feel like they see this competitive energy within you. So they know you've got it in you, that when you want something, you go for it. And they're kind of hoping, okay, well, if you reach out to me, then that will confirm to me that you really want me or they're hoping that you do reach out because they feel like when you want something, you do go for it. So if you don't go for them, I guess you don't want them. This all this may or may not be true. It's kind of just how they're interpreting things. And then we have, have you put a spell on me? So this is how enamored they are with you, that they're feeling like it's like you've put a spell on me. And I don't feel that they're genuinely asking this. Sometimes it comes out um that the energy of someone i'm tapping into is like well i know you're into this sort of like tarot witchy woo woo stuff have you actually put a spell on me you know <laughs> back off sort of thing but i think in this case they're just letting you know you know i feel like i've been bewitched by you that sort of thing okay so this has been really interesting at least from my perspective interesting to read lots of messages coming through if you're wondering does this person want to hear from you and so you haven't been reaching out to them um, yes, 100%. Of course, if you have reached out and, and now they get, you know, it's on them to reply, well, take whichever action suits you best. Um, don't feel that you have to reach out again. Um, you know, even as I said at the start, you might need to flip it. Maybe this is you that really wants them to reach out. But yeah, there's a, there's a feeling of actually something big could happen now um and not just because this person might be saying i feel like i'm running out of time but also because they're in a really good place i think they're feeling confident i think in a practical sense they're in a good place um so yeah if there's some communication going on at this time whenever you find this reading i could see things actually moving forward in the 3d in a practical manifested real tangible way Okay, so I will leave this here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this has resonated. Hope it helped. Also, I'll be back on Friday and I'm going to do the um, third party reading. So their thoughts about a third party versus you. And it can be a romantic third party or it could be parents. It could be a boss, whoever. Um, I'm going to try and interpret the cards in a, in a romantic and non-romantic way. Um, last time I checked the the poll, the voting, it was um, much more in favour of doing the reading. So that's probably what I'm going to do on Friday. Okay, so until then, take care and I will speak to you soon. Bye.